What's up guys, this week we're doing one of the hardest jointed woodworking miters and it's really hard to get all four joints to come out perfectly but I will show you a few tips that helps me get some tight miters and uh, hopefully you'll find something useful. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off I'm going to be using some of this walnut that I got and basically I have to square up this board because this thing is pretty far from being squared. Now if you want to see a specific video on how to do that, click right here and I will show you how to square up a board. But assuming we already know that, I'm going to go ahead and square it up real quick. I went ahead and I planed it down to three quarters of an inch and after I did all that I'm going to go ahead and run it through my table saw and it's going to be at two inches because my frame is going to be two inches wide so I set my fence to my blade at two inches and I'll just run this through here a few times and get some two inch wide strips. Now what I need to do is cut a groove in it with my dado stack that I've installed and what this is going to do is it's going to make a slot for the picture to go, the glass to go, and the hardboard or whatever you put behind your picture to go that it's going to hold it all in there nice and neat. So well, we're going to go ahead and make that now and what I've done is I've just installed my dado stack. You can do this with router straight bits and dado stack. Basically any way you really need to do it, it's pretty simple. that the picture frame or the picture and the glass and all that good stuff will sit in nicely on. And now what I want to go ahead and do is pull out my table saw miter sled. And what this allows me to do is get perfect 45 degree angles. I have tried in the past using the uh, one that comes with the actual table saw and this is always like a degree or two off. So I would recommend making one of these. If you want to see how to make one of these, you can click right here for a quick link to go ahead and make that. Come back and watch this video when you're done, or you can check that out later. So now it's time to go ahead and make these cuts using the actual sled. And when I use the sled, I have a one and a two side. This is a one side, so whenever I make a cut, then once I'm done cutting it, I always mark a one. And then I take a second board and I cut it and then I mark a two immediately. So when I have both of them, they come together and make that perfect 90 degree angle. So even if this side's like a 44 and this is a 46, when they come together, they still make a perfect 90 degree angle thanks to my uh, miter sled. So I'm going to go ahead and make a few cuts now. I will just give it a little one mark on the side so I know that this is a one and it needs to align with a two. And now I marked a two on it so 
I know it's a two side. So now I have all my pieces, they're exactly the same sizes. So what you can just go ahead and do is roughly line up your stuff. And once you do this, all your pieces should fit in there pretty well. And mine fit in pretty good. So what I have now is I'm gonna take my piece of glass and you can either cut it to size or you can just make the frame fit the piece of glass. And that's what I did. I made the frame fit the piece of glass. So I put it in there and it fits good. So I know I can go ahead and glue this all up now. So now it comes time to glue this all up. And what I have here is a Bessie uh, clamp. I'm not really sure what the exact name of it is, but what it does is it grabs all four corners and pulls them in and it really helps pull all your miters together. So if you're gonna be making picture frames, I would highly recommend getting one of these. They're not that expensive, and they're definitely worth the money. So now all I have to do is just add some glue, and we're on our way to finishing this project up. And make sure all your ones and twos are lined up in each corner, and mine are all set. So I can go ahead and smush this together, smush that and do this other side here. And it should be done drying now. So I'm gonna go ahead and unstrap this. And some of these edges kinda came up funky, so what you do is you just cut them off on the table saw or just sand them smooth, any one of the two really. So now I have the frame all sanded and everything, and I think all the miters came out pretty darn good, so I'm really happy with the way this came out. The back side looks pretty good as well, and uh, all I gotta do now is add um, some white bone polyurethane. I did ideally want to use spray lacquer, but uh, I don't have any, so this stuff really helps bring out the green, and it's gonna make it look really nice. So now what I'm going to do is take one of these hanger things and just go ahead and nail it on. And what this is going to do is it's going to let me hang my frame on the wall. Take my glass, put that in. Take my picture, put this in. Take a piece of, this is just quarter inch MBF, really anything works for the back. And then just take some brad nails, go ahead and just put these on the sides and tap them into place with the hammer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's doesn't really take much to hold it in, just a few of these. And uh, this is what a lot of woodworkers do. You can actually buy something. But hey, this works good enough for me. And voila. So I gotta say, this picture came out a lot better than I thought it would. And uh, I think it looks pretty nice overall. I think I got all the miters as tight as I could for uh, my experience with it. Miters have always been a problem for me, but over the past week, I'd say, I uh, started using my uh, sled and it really did help. So guys, if you don't have 
a miter sled, then go ahead and make one of those, man. Those really come in handy. But if you found any part of this video useful or uh, helpful, then just give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more woodworking videos. If you're new to my channel, I try to post a video every Tuesday. And I will see you guys next week with another project.